I'm very sorry, there is nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. I'm very sorry, there is nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. I'm very sorry, there is nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave... I'm very sorry. There 
I'm very sorry. There's nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. I'm very sorry, there's nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm trying to create a, an answer machine message. It's all too clean now. Um, I've recorded my own phone, calling my own phone, um, and uh, a voice directly onto here, um, and this uh, emulates um, the sound of the beeps on the answer machine. Um, okay, so. Pretty available to take your. First of all, I'm going to have to um, tweak. I'm going to have to tweak these sounds using EQ. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my voice. Um, no, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my mixer. I'm going to select, I don't need to select the phone because it's already treated because it's, it's an authentic recording, but I'm going to highlight these two. Instead of going stereo out, I'm going to create a new bus. Bus one. There we go. So that's a new sub app. And I'm going to put, put that um, EQ, oops, EQ FX. So because both of these sounds are going through here, then any effects that I put in this bus output, um, I can get that out of the way now, um, any effects in this bus output will affect both of these tracks. So instead of having to do them all individually, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is EQ. So uh, I've double clicked on the EQ patch here, because you see it's turned up there. Um, and I'm going to go to EQ tools and I'm going to select phone filter notch. So listen to that now. I'm very sorry, there's nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. Okay, that's um, a Radio 4 telephone effect. So that's what they would do. Just put an EQ patch through a voice to create the sense of the over the line. Um, you'll recognize it in lots of um, Radio 4 uh, drama programs um, for any of you that might listen to them. Um, of course, we want something a little bit more funky. So that's pretty good. So we started off with EQ. Let's add some noise and distortion because when you record a, uh, an exit, a voice on a, an answer machine, or even if it's on your own phone, um, you, you, your mouth is very close to a very small microphone. So you, what you're going to get is you're going to get distortion um, on the capsule of the recorder because it's a very, very kind of cheap microphone. So let's add a bit of distortion. So I'm still on this bus output here. So I'm going to go to distortion. Here we go. Distortion. Uh, clip distortion. Let's have a little listen. Let's have a little peek. What should we have? Uh, oh no, that's all a bit guitar-y. Let's not have clip distortion. Then let's have phase distortion. There we go. That's better. Ah, there we go. Let's have warm phase. What's that sound like? I'm very sorry. I uh, know I don't like that. Let's go back to. Let's go back to what other distortion could I have? Hmm. Oh, let's just go back to clip distortion. What the hell? That's bound to be something we can use. Let's try clipped overtones. Let's try that. I'm very sorry. There's nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, 
We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. Oh, I quite like that. Let's try some other ones. Let's try... Um, warm clip distortion. Just try that. I'm very sorry. There's oh. nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to go with that. Um, and OK, but it's still not quite there. So I'm going to add a bit of modulation. And I'm going to choose phaser, which is a good sound. So here we go. Uh, let's have face filter too. Let's see what that's like. I'm very sorry. There's nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. Oh, there we are. It works for me. So there's our effect. Let's just take out three of those phones. Actually, let's take out this one because that was a bit dodgy. Uh, let's switch it up three here. Let's move it up. Okay. In fact, we can take all of that and move it to the very beginning. And here we have it. Now that's pretty good, but it's still kind of in the box. We we've, we've taken this, we've taken the voice and we put it and the beeps and we put it inside this little box with this little tiny speaker. So we've recorded it on a really poor quality microphone, which would be a little crystal mic on the answering machine or on your phone. Um, and we've um, we've and then we've and we're playing it back through a tiny little plastic speaker type thing. So we're, we've put the voice and the message in the box, but we haven't put the box in the space. So where is this box playing? It's going to be in a kind of a hall. It's going to be a fairly live environment, perhaps. So I'm not going to put it on here because I've um, on this bus output because I've not included the phone on that and because I don't want a phone ring on that because it's an actual authentic recording and it would be over effect. So I'm going to put it into the stereo app, which will affect all of the output channels. And I'm going to add a little bit of reverberation. So let's uh, reverb, space designer, stereo. So let's see what it sounds like. If we're listening to it, uh, let's have a medium space, a, a room. Oh, uh, um, what about, uh, let's say a tile room. Let's see how that sounds. And we'll, we'll give it about a 20, Very sorry, there's nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. It's quite nice. There's something very emotive about um, degraded sound quality voice in a reverbed environment. There's something about fragility and isolation. It's actually rather beautiful. Um, imagine, for example, we're in a largish hall um, and it's a long shot. And it's a long shot of a man who's playing, who's returned to the house for the first time in 10 years. And there's this answer machine. And on it is the last message that was ever delivered by some long lost person or something like that. Um, and so let's, um, let's have a oh, nice vocal hall. Let's give it a try. We'll take the level down a bit. Depends how far away. So if it's quite close, let's have a listen. I'm 
very sorry. There's nobody available to take your call right now. If you'd like to leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please leave your message after the beep. Yeah, something nice about that. Imagine that we're actually in another room hearing that message. So we can take the dry out, add a bit of wet. So we're just hearing reflection. Bit too much reflection. <laughs> but finally, let's do it for real. So let's have a small space, a room, small hall, small dynamic hall, like would be a hallway of some middle middle class household. <laughs> um, I'm picturing in my mind my uncle and my auntie Vil and my uncle Julian. Uncle Julian was a solicitor, lived in Tavistock Road in the 1970s, had this nice hallway with a stairwell and it was lots of tiled. So lots of tiles and lots of kind of reflective surfaces so let's give that a try that's about right i'm very sorry there's nobody available to take your call right now if you'd like to leave your name and number we'll get back to you as soon as possible please leave your message after the beep And there you have it, how to use EQ for special effects. Of course, you could just leave a message on somebody's phone and then record that. And yeah, I've often done that, but uh, you have control here. Okay.